Hello everyone, x Walk Hill Bethelite here. And Jehovah's Witnesses at this point, I don't think that they would be able to win a uh, debate, scriptural, with anyone. Uh, the reason being is they don't have any authority at all. When it comes right down to it, Jehovah's Witnesses have absolutely positively nothing to prove that Watchtower should be the authority of what is and what is not Christian, of how people should and should not li live their uh, lives. At all, they have no claim to authority whatsoever. Uh, for Jehovah's Witnesses to say that they follow Jehovah, the only way that that would be possible is uh, if they followed strictly the Bible. If strictly the uh, Bible was their authority, then from that aspect, they could say, well, we're technically following God uh, if we follow the Bible. But we know that Watchtower's made predictions. Uh, Watchtower has teachings against uh, going inside of other churches. Watchtower has got... <laughs> teachings that have nothing to do with the Bible. It has everything to do with Watchtower says so. The teachings about not wearing beards. Watchtower didn't get that from the Bible. That's that's because the, the Jehovah's Witnesses do that because Watchtower said so. Watchtower said men can't have beards. So then Jehovah's Witnesses, men, they don't then have beards. We can easily prove that Jehovah's Witnesses follow Watchtower teachings, not necessarily things that are uh, prescribed in the Bible, per se. And that being the case, at this point in time, now that we know that Watchtower has had teachings that were incorrect. Watchtower has had predictions that were incorrect. We don't have a reason to believe Watchtower has the authority to dictate what the Bible does and does not say. Watchtower never had the authority to write its own Bible. You're talking about people following an organization that way overstep its boundaries in regards to what it has the authority and what it does not have the authority to say. Watchtower for years said that they alone were the direct channel to Jehovah God, that they were they were alone the ones who God was using. Overstepping boundaries, overstepping boundaries. Who gives you the right to say that? Who gives you the right to dictate that God is using you and not using anyone else. See, this is what cults do. Watchtower essentially follows the blueprint of what a cult is going to do. Any Jehovah's Witness that looks up different cults and their practices and their shunning practices would immediately recognize a connection with their own practices, with Watchtower practices. They would immediately recognize cult-type thinking. 
So for a watchtower to dictate to people that they all own are speaking for God, that their members should not make friends with people that aren't Jehovah's Witnesses. And it's not a matter of these people not being Christian because their Jehovah's Witness membership is not allowed to even go inside a church. That's directly trying to separate you from anyone that would tell you anything different from what Watchtower is saying. That's control. That is control. People can fall into a trap and this trap not even really be well disguised as anything but a trap. People can fall for something and it be almost obvious that they're falling for something that's not true. So Watchtower fails when it comes to authority. They have clearly made statements and done things that they do not have the authority to do. A Jehovah's Witness in general, uh, you know, you could go knock on doors with a magazine, but that does not mean God has selected you as special above everybody else because you're walking around knocking on people's doors, passing out watchtowers telling them what Watchtower told you to tell them. Authority is huge in Christianity. You got the Catholic Church and they have got uh, the whole concept of secession. Well, you can trace our authority back. See? Uh, you, you've got Pentecostal movements and the whole, well, we've got the sign of the spirit. You can trace our authority back to that. And then you have some churches that are sola scriptura. We, we, if it's in the Bible, we follow it. If it's not in the Bible, we don't. You can trace our authority back to that. Watchtower, on the other hand, just said, God picked them. <laughs> God picked them invisibly. God came and, and, and or Jesus came and, and picked them out of everybody and said, you have authority to go out and, and disfellowship people from their family members and you've got authority to go out and, and judge other churches and tell other bodies of Christians that they're wrong uh, even though you've got child molestation sexual abuse cases like anybody else even though you've got teachings that are incorrect and you got to constantly change them because you're constantly getting everything wrong because you never had the authority to make broad pro proclamations about the Bible to begin with I can put on a suit and tie, look nice, but that does not necessarily mean I've got authority over anyone. It doesn't necessarily mean because I put on a suit and tie, go grab a stack of magazines and go knock on some doors that I now have authority. God has just automatically given me his stamp of approval, regardless of the fact that we keep getting our teachings slash predictions wrong. Jehovah's Witnesses for the longest time, it's been Watchtower is the authority and the proof of the authority is uh, a conduct which we can pretty much prove that you know, that, that Jehovah's Witnesses' conduct isn't any higher than anyone else's. 
which is the reason why they uh, have all the sexual assault. Like if you have child sexual assault, pedophilia going on in the organization, if that's a problem, something that bad is a problem, then everything else, every other category, logically is a problem. If there is no divine spirit that is keeping people from touching and molesting kids, then there ain't no divine spirit that's keeping nobody from doing anything else. People have choice. They, they, they choose whether they want to do the right thing or the wrong thing. Just like any other church, just like any other religious group, Watchtower is not special because they make their members give out magazines. When it comes down to authority, do you have the authority to do or teach what you teach? It's obvious at this point, it's pretty obvious. You have situations in the Bible where if God wanted something done, it got done no matter what. You had a situation in the Bible where a, a man told the son to stand still until this fight is over. And the son stood still. In the Bible, the son did not go down until what was supposed to happen happened. And here we have Jehovah's Witnesses have been saying for the longest time that their main purpose, that God himself has employed them, giving them the job to go knock on doors and, 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 and pass out Watchtower magazines. And then COVID hits and completely stops all of it, except for writing letters or whatever, sending people text messages, and bothering people that way. If God had purposed that a preaching was going to continue to take place the way Jehovah's Witnesses were doing it until the end came or until great tribulation came out. And that's what would have happened. Just like the sun stood still, there would have been no COVID stopping it. Uh, Washtower simply has no authority to act outside of scripture. If you go to a Jehovah's Witness and show them the Bible and says, well, the Bible says this, they're going to say, well, let's see what the Watchtower says about that. Watchtower is their authority. That's not scriptural. There isn't a single Jehovah's Witness that could defend that. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. X-Wall Kill Bethelite signing out.